OK, let's head over to the kitchen and see Chef Mark. He's in the Beko kitchen, and we're going Sichuan today again. We are. We've got, a, we've got an amazing dish here, really popular. You know, if we go to a Chinese restaurant, I always order this dish because it's great, you know. We've got this beautiful mm. tofu, but as you said before, it packs a massive punch. And look at this, we've got fermented beans here. Wow. We've got chilies here. We've got Sichuan peppers and some more chilli flakes. It's going to be, uh, it's going to warm you up on this uh, winter's morning. Right, OK, well, that's just what we need. Looking forward to it, huh? Oh? <laughs> Sichuan, which is fantastic. OK, it's going to be tongue tingling and tasty. And we'll get the steps to create it very soon. And thanks for your company in the Beko kitchen this morning as Mark's about to show us how to create one of the most popular Sichuan dishes. So we've done Sichuan before, but this one really he packs a punch is how he's selling it. Uh, yeah, definitely. We've got lots of chilli in there, lots of fermented uh, beans in there. So lots of depth of flavour, more chilli flakes and, of course, the Sichuan chilli um, mm. corns mm. as well. Right, <laughs> so we're, gonna, we're just going to lightly toast these in a dry pan just to release all the flavours. You and then know I don't like hot food. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's going to be really hot today. No, it's going to be... There's going to be a little bit of spice in there, but it's going to be flavour. OK, cool. Okay, Flavoured so, spice. OK, so, this so is So I good. think a lot of people go, you know, it, it, it's really, it's going to be really spicy. You see all that chilli and you're going to eat it and you're not going to um, taste anything, you know. It's just going to burn your mouth and you get no taste. You know, that's not what we're after. You know, we want a little bit of heat there, but we want flavour in there. OK, okay? so we're going to balance it out. Nice. Yeah, so I've just, um, just toasted them lightly, these uh, peppercorns. Oh, so you can I love smell, that smell. You can smell yeah, the uh, flavour coming out, you know. It just That heat just releases the flavour, just sort Ooh. of lightly toast. Them and then just crush them up, yep. and then we're going to finish the dish with these uh, peppercorns a little bit later. Okay, it's powder. Okay, right. job one done. Job one done. There's a lot of little stages to this. Right, so I've got some beef mince, uh, sorry, pork mince here. Yep. So that just goes in a little bowl, and then you can stir that around. We'll okay. give it a little bit of uh, salt in there, and some sesame oil. So okay. that, that all gets yeah. mixed in. Okay, now we're talking. And then I've got a hot uh, wok here. Yep. So a little bit of oil in here. Get it hot, get it smoking, and then we're going to stir fry the pork mince. And what we want to do is get it nice and um, nice and brown. Get some um, uh, texture on there. So get it like a little bit crispy. So I'm going to break it down like I do with normal mince. Yeah, that's yep. it. Okay, cool. So here that sizzles. So you know it's hot. Keep it on the go. As you're doing it, break it down. You want it like little pieces here. Yum. Right, so we have got tofu, so, well, I mean, that side's all vegetarian, that's not. So, okay. you know, if you wanted to do this a vegetarian version, just don't do this stage here, that's Brilliant. fine. Okay, cool. Right, so we've got some tofu. So this is, like, easy to get now. You can get this pretty much any, everywhere. Um, and then what we're going to do is just cut it gently into little, um, little cubes, and then we just blanch this off just in some lightly uh, salted water. Yep. Which I've got over here. And just literally for about, sort of, 30 seconds, just sort of set the tofu, and then we're going to drain it off, and then we're going to add it to our sauce after. So you've got to think it's quite, um, you know, I mean, if you try that, it's sort of quite, it's sort of textural, you know, it's not, there's not that much flavour in there. So that's why we're putting all this flavour into this dish. Now, I don't you want know. to put you on the spot, but there are lots of different tofu. So what, do you know, is there any particular kind you need for this one? So this is a matter? silken tofu. Okay. And it's just a little bit firmer. You can sort of see it's nice, um, it's got yeah. a really good set in there. You know, you can cut it. We're just going to blanch that now. So that just goes in there for 30 seconds and then we're just going to drain it off, let it sit and then it'll go into our sauce after. So you can see the mince is all broken down yep. now, we're getting, to, we're getting a little bit of colour on there. So we'll just keep it going, get a little bit more crispy and then what we're going to do is take it out and then we're going to start making our sauce in there. Right. And I've got a little bit of rice here as well which I've just pre-cooked so we're going to serve it with some rice uh, just to tone down that heat. <laughs> I'm pleased that you cook like the rest of us around the country because this right, rice... Pan. Yeah, no, no, but it's just, you know, it's bubbled over, you've got it, you know, it's looking really messy, but that's real life cooking, isn't oh, it? thanks for pointing that out, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Are you total? 30 seconds. Are you right, happy? Yeah, so that's good. So I'm just going to turn that off now. I'm just going to drain it, uh, put it into a sieve and just let it sort of uh, get all the excess liquid off there. Okay, sweet. Let's do that. Oh, I'll leave you to that. This pork is smelling delicious. And of course, we will come back and see the rest of this recipe very soon. If you would like to get the recipe, it's easy to find. Just go to thecafe.co.nz. Now we've got Mapu Tofu to finish off. So we've finished the pork with the sesame. We've done the tofu. 
things are going good. Yeah, right, now it's time to build our sauce. So same pan, we've taken the pork out, leave yep. the fat in the pan, that's fine. And then we've got our, our chili paste, okay, chili great. bean paste, right? So keep it nice and hot. Chili bean paste. Mm -hmm. Okay, so chilies and beans. Yep. Yeah. Cover with smell. Smell. Yep. Have, cool. a wee, have a wee taste. No, I don't it's want great. to taste. <laughs> get, get you into it. Do I? Okay. Oh, it's got a kick. Yeah. Well, well it's flavour though, isn't it? That's really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably the best way to describe that. I don't know about that. Okay. <laughs> right, so you're going to stir okay, fry cool. that for a minute. And then what we're going to do, we've got these beautiful spring onions here. So we're going to do it in two stages. You've got a white part and a green part. So I'm just going to finely slice the white part, and then mm -hmm. we're going to pop this in. I'm going to use it like a, as a, just a, a white onion in cooking. You know, so it's going to give us some nice flavour. We're going to reserve the green part, and then we're going to finish the dish with the green part to get it nice and um, fresh. Okay, great. So spring onion goes in now. Is this pan too hot? Uh, you can turn it down a little oh, bit. Yeah, cool, thanks, chef. We are toasting now. I've got some garlic that goes in. Some ginger as well, and then we're just going to stir fry it. So keep stir frying that, get all the flavours out. And then we've got some fermented beans. You want to try this one as well? No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say you're very adventurous with food and like to try new things? Well, you're making me more adventurous, Mark, which is good. I'm keen to try it in its finished form. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. So you ferment it. Well, it's going to give you real depth to this sauce. So beans go in now. We'll keep stir frying, stir frying, stir frying. It's looking really good, can I just say? Fancy. But the, but the, but the flavours now, you know, the flavours are just um, really coming out, right? There's some chilli flakes in there, so that's going to give you some more heat. You can add more or less, uh, depending more on what chili. you want. More chilli. You chili. want more chilli? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just stir frying, stir frying, stir frying. Yep. And then we've got a little bit of chicken stock. If you wanted to keep this completely vegetarian, obviously use uh, a little bit of vegetable stock or even a little bit of water, you know. There's Great. so much flavour in this mix what we've got now. Okay, cool. That goes in, so you just deglaze the pan. All right, and we'll bring that up to the boil. Nice. But you can you, you can smell that, you know? Yeah, even even good. taste that now, you know? We, I mean, we need to cook it out a little bit more. You know, probably about for another sort of 10 minutes and then we're ready. I will. But, but the I amount will. of flavor we've got in there already. I'll risk it. Okay, cool. It's gonna be hot though, isn't it? It's gonna be okay. flavorsome. It's not gonna be yeah, that's really too good. hot. That is really good. Surprisingly good, Mark. <laughs> I love it when you say things like that. <laughs> um, so what we need to do, bring up to the boil, do it for a nice simmer for about sort of seven to ten minutes, you know, get all those flavours into that sauce. We don't want to be reducing this down too much. We don't want to make it too intense. We want to keep that sort of freshness in there. So I've got here a little bit of cornstarch or corn flour mixed with a little bit of water and after, after that sort of like seven to ten minutes cooking, that's going to thicken our sauce, okay? Nice. Okay, and we're cool. looking for a nice thick glaze around our tofu. So bring up to the boil, turn it down to a simmer and there's a tofu which we just blanched. Yes. Okay, so, so be really careful with this because it will. Uh, I was going to you know, say, won't it break break up? Well, a little bit. You know, if you manhandle it, it will. Okay, you know, cool. just got to be gentle. But that All goes right. in now, and then that, you're going to simmer that. You know, so it's going to intensify the flavour, flavour that tofu. After about seven minutes, we're going to thicken that sauce, and it's just going to glaze it. We'll finish it with some green spring onion tops, a little bit of soy and a pinch of sugar as well, just to balance out that um, spiciness. Brilliant, and of course going to serve it with our rice that we have pre-cooked. Yeah. It's nice and quick, I like it. It is nice and quick, full of flavour, mm. and uh, yeah, beautiful winter warmer. Nice work, okay, you can get the full recipe to impress your family and friends from our website, where you'll also find a handy, tickable shopping list to make it really easy. Wow, we are really looking after you, okay. We'll be falling over with this Mapu tofu, I think. How did it turn out, Mark? Oh, it's absolutely oh. fantastic. My whole mouth numb it's tingling oh good I'm on fire but it's, it's warming me up but it's great it's and almost you know when it's too spicy and 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 everything's going on you just want to keep eating it more oh. and more and that is a sign of a good dish looks great Look okay at that brilliant mate what are you gonna be that. doing tomorrow well tomorrow we're doing Asian again and we're doing charred Asian beans with pork again